stations to neighborhoods that currently do not have any. Um, and we'll upgrade areas currently served only by lightweight stations. Um, meaning those are the stations that only have e bikes, so the black or the gray bikes. And it will add stations to neighborhoods that currently have lower station densities. Uh, most importantly, the expansion uh, will allow classic D bikes to go anywhere in the city. And uh, this is important for, for many Chicagoans that, uh, that rely on this mode of transportation. Um, and DV also hit a new annual grant ridership record last year uh, with over 6.6 .6 million bike and scooter rides in 2023. So that's also a great accomplishment and um, it uh, reinforces the idea and, and the fact that people want uh, more active more modes of transportation and the option to have that. And this is all working on the infrastructure and safety um, across the city. Uh, the Smart Street Pilot uh, will launch this summer, and this is a pilot program focusing on improving safety and optimizing bus lanes and traffic flow. This pilot will pr promote an, a more reliable, efficient, and accessible bus service by deterring drivers from parking in bus only lanes or at designated bus stops. And cameras uh, will be installed on city poles for CTA vehicles to identify drivers blocking or idling on the bus lane. And uh, it is important to note that warning notices without fines will be issued um, for the first 30 days after each new camera is installed and activated. So that will uh, provide a great period for people as they notice and learn more about this virus and, and the new. Um, the new infrastructure that we have you know, to, for, to provide um, a safer behavior around the things. And um, so we have also the school zone safety improvement uh, program. Uh, we currently have eight schools um, that are experiencing multiple safety upgrades, including curb uh, bump bags, raised cross slopes, pressure islands, and hence signature signs. Uh, reducing the risk and traffic restrictions. Um, in, in the map, um, you can see the, the red dots. Um, they're distributed mostly on the northwest side and southwest, um, southwest side of, of the city. Um, and uh, our team, which is working on 12 street sweeps projects on the investment in West, Southwest, and as well as several other street sweeps across the city. And they're all in various stages of development and completion. So you yeah, can learn more about the street streets um, in the police streets website and our stuff. And just as a, um, an also update and announcement, and we'll have more information at the end of the meeting, is that we have multiple positions available at CDOT um, through our Safe Ambassadors program. Um, we are hiring a full-time ambassador, as well as um, seasonal ambassadors for the summer. Um, we're also be hiring junior ambassadors for the summer, so it's just very exciting. And we also have opportunities for planners, special future planners, to, to join the uh, Vicious Zero Traffic Safety Team as well. So all a very exciting time to, to join our team. Um, all right, this is it for me. And do you go to the next slide? All right, so we have a volunteering presentation.